Hello everyone, welcome back to my video channel. This is very exciting. It's my first official episode and I thought a great way to baptize it would be to talk about canvases. And the choice of canvas for today are birch wood panels. It's this amazing material that I was introduced to by my artist mentor a couple years back and I've totally fallen in love with it and I really think you will too. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about where you can find them, the reasons why I like birch wood panels, and maybe some of the negatives as well. So let's get started and let's do this. It's a big question that a lot of aspiring artists are asking in terms of which is the best type of canvas and which brands do I recommend and how do I properly prepare it. Um, a lot of this information can be found online, but I'm here to tell you about my personal story. So. The material that I use right now is called birch wood panels and I can order them online through dickblick.com. Uh, it's a really great uh, website. They sell a lot of different materials like paintbrushes, uh, paints, mediums, um, containers for storage, easels, anything you basically need that's art related. Everything can be found on this website and the good thing about this is that there's a lot of promo codes. So you definitely want to type in Google dick like promo codes and you can get crazy discounts. You wanna buy some gift for an artist friend, for instance, or you just need to update your studio appliances, you can definitely find it there. It's amazing, definitely check it out. You can select all these different sizes, so if you're afraid to go big, like the pieces that I'm working on currently right now, uh, I'd suggest going small, that's how I started. Uh, just with these little four by sixes, all the way up to like 40 by 60s, which is what is down right behind me right here. Um, so yeah, so the reason why I like to use birch wood panels is because I think using wood as a canvas is just such a noble material and the fact that you can sand down the material to a very smooth finish allows me to put on a lot of detail and I just really like the effect that it leaves behind. So I tend to tape up the sides and when I gesso, the gesso does not fuse with the wood and that way I can have a nice natural looking border meaning that I can save a lot on the cost of not having to frame. If you want, actually you can paint it around the edges a certain color to give it a certain colored border, or you can actually continue painting onto the sides and have an extended painting around the edges of the canvas. Um, another major reason why I really love wood panels is that they're very cheap. <laughs> you can buy them online and batches of like four or five or six. And I think as a an emerging artist who's on a, <laughs> I was about to say diet, well it'd be like a money diet, so like a budget, then you definitely need to cut your costs wherever you can just so that your dollar bill can go much farther and you can actually <laughs> make an honest living as an artist. So that's one reason why I like wood panels. No need to frame it. You can either paint the sides or leave it blank. It's really up to you. So now that I've talked to you about the positives of working with birch wood panels, I'd actually like to talk to you about the negatives. And I think this is also a nice part of the video to talk about just because I have to be honest with you. Um, one major problem with birch wood panels is that they are a little bit bulky. They cannot be taken off you know, the frames like a traditional canvas and rolled up in a tube and shipped off anywhere in the world, you will have to pay for the cost of shipping and shipping can get expensive. However, there are ways to work the system. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. That is a subject that you'll have to come back on. Stay tuned for more. And if you like this video, please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. If you have any advice or recommendation, I'd love to hear it. Constructive criticism is welcome. If you feel like being a jerk, bring it. I'm ready for you. Um, yeah, so yeah, thank you for joining me on this first episode. Please come back for more because I have tons of knowledge and information that I've acquired over the years. And also I am here to learn alongside you and grow as an artist. So if you wanna follow the journey, please subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you soon.